Hi, I'm going to read Disney Pixar Lightyear, adapted by Natasha Yim, illustrated by Lisa Van Nainai, designed by Tony Fijeran. Let's begin. Captain Buzz Lightyear and Commander Alicia Hawthorne were space rangers. They were exploring a strange planet called Takani Prime with their crew. Suddenly, they were attacked by wriggling vines and flying bugs. Buzz and Alicia fought side by side. They made a great team. Buzz needed to get everyone off the planet and back home. He tried to launch the spaceship on his own, but it crashed, and the hyperspeed fuel crystal was destroyed. Without it, there was no fuel to power the ship. Buzz and the crew were stranded. Buzz blamed himself for the crash. Alicia said they could set up a mining operation on Takani Prime to develop another fuel crystal to get them home. Buzz wanted to test the crystal himself. He needed to be the one to fix his mistake and finish the mis mission. I believe in you, Alicia said. A year later, the new fuel crystal was ready to be tested. Buzz launched into space in the XL-1 spaceship. During the flight, the crystal became unstable and one of the spaceship's engines exploded. The mission failed. When Buzz landed, Alicia was re relieved to see him. He had been gone for over four years. The closer that Buzz got to hyperspeed, the slower that time passed for him. Alicia gave Buzz a robot cat named Socks. Sock's mission was to help Buzz adjust after his time away. But Buzz didn't need help with ordinary things. He needed to solve the fuel problem. So Socks got to work. Buzz launched into space again and again. Each time the mission failed, and each time he returned, everyone had gotten older, but he remained the same age. After another failed mission, Buzz returned to find that Alicia had left him a message on a hologram. She introduced her granddaughter, Izzy, who wanted to be a space ranger too. Alicia told Buzz that she missed the adventures they had. Goodbye, Buzz, Alicia said. I'm sorry I won't be there to see you finish the mission. Buzz's new commander was Cal Burnside. Commander Burnside told Buzz that it had taken so long to find a stable fuel crystal, they had scrapped Buzz's mission. They had decided to stay on Takani Prime instead of going home. Buzz couldn't believe it. Luckily, Sox had some good news. He had finally figured out the fuel problem. Buzz and Sox blasted off in the XL-15 spaceship before anyone could st stop them. Thanks to Sox's new formula for the fuel crystal, the ship reached hyperspeed. Success at last. However, when they landed, Buzz and Sox found Takani Prime under attack by robot aliens. 22 years had passed and Alicia's granddaughter was all grown up. Izzy found Buzz and Socks, just as a robot stole Buzz's ship. Izzy was happy to see Buzz. She and her fellow junior patrol members, Mo and Darby, needed a pilot to defeat the robots and save everyone on the base. Buzz wanted to continue the mission on his own, but the junior patrol insisted on helping him. The junior patrol led Buzz to the armadillo ship, but the area was full of giant bugs. To sneak past them, the group put on old space ranger suits and activated the stealth mode. But when stealth mode failed, Mo panicked and inflated his suit. Izzy and Darby rolled him to the ship as angry bugs chased them. 
Buzz and the Junior Patrol managed to escape the bugs, but robots suddenly attacked. Buzz dodged and swerved around robots and fire geysers. But while Izzy was helping Buzz at the controls, she accidentally ejected the fuel crystal. The armadillo came to a halt. Suddenly, a robot snatched up the fuel crystal and disappeared into the night sky. Izzy felt terrible for her mistake, but Buzz felt worse. Then a dark figure with glowing red eyes appeared. It was Zerg, the evil leader of the robots. Zerg grabbed Buzz and zapped him onto the alien spaceship. The junior patrol didn't know what to do. They had lost the fuel crystal and Buzz, but then Izzy noticed a trans sport disc on the side of the armadillo. It was the same disc that Zerg and the robots had used to capture Buzz. Izzy and her team had a way to get onto Zerg's ship and rescue Buzz. On Zerg's ship, Buzz was determined to retrieve the fuel crystal from Zerg. Buzz attacked the villain, but in the scuffle, the anti-gravity mode activated, leaving Buzz and Zerg battling in mid-air. The Junior Patrol soon arrived to rescue Buzz and the crystal, but before Buzz could climb into the armadillo, Zerg's ship exploded, launching Buzz into space. Zerg caught up to the space ranger and grabbed the crystal. Prepare to die, the robot said. Not today, Zerg, Buzz exclaimed, destroying the crystal with his blaster. Without the fuel crystal, the armadillo hurtled towards Takani Prime. Buzz caught up to the ship and tried to slow it down using his jetpack. Izzy took over the controls with Mo as her co-pilot. Darby engaged the air brake while Sox powered the flight controls. Because they worked together, the team landed the ship. Commander Burnside was grateful for Buzz's bravery. He gave Buzz a new mission leading the Universe Protection Division and forming his own team of space rangers. Buzz already knew who he wanted for the job. He beamed at Izzy, Moe, Darby, and Sox. All right, space rangers, here we go, Buzz said, to infinity and beyond. I hope you enjoyed that book and that maybe you'll get to go see the movie. Bye, everyone.